We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we're going to continue painting the Saint Celestine Mini, and we are going to move on to the wings. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave it down below in the comments. Now originally, when considering how to paint these wings, I thought of just doing a traditional white archangel wing. However, since the armor is quite light, I thought that painting the wings white as well would just make the two blend together. So I wanted to do something a little bit more dynamic with the wing, and we're going to paint it a little bit more like a bird of prey. The first color we're going to be painting with is going to be Mornfang Brown. And we're going to be mixing this paint with a little bit of Lamian Medium. And we're going to use this color to paint all of the smaller rows of feathers. All of the really long feathers are going to be in a much lighter color, so we don't want to paint them with this Mornfang Brown base. We're just going to do this as an all over layer on all of these small feathers making sure that we get into all of the creases that are sculpted in between each feather. I'm going to be doing the same thing on the back of the wings. I want both sides to be the same. And it's okay if it takes a couple layers to get a really nice solid coat of this Mornfang brown color. Here's the wings after we've gotten a solid coat. Next we're going to use a little bit of Abaddon black. Again, I'm painting this with a little bit of Lamian medium mixed into my paint. And I'm going to use this color to do a very heavy outline on all of the feathers on this second largest row. So I'm very heavily painting the end of each of these feathers and then I'm taking that color and I'm doing a small line to bring the black all the way into where the feathers transition into the next row. As I move to these smaller feathers in the center of the wing, I'm pretty much painting the whole thing black. Here's the feathers after that black step. Next, we're going to apply a wash of Nuln Oil. And we're applying this Nuln Oil to the row of feathers that we just outlined in black, and then the row right above them. We want to apply enough of the shade that it gets into all of the nooks and crannies and really darkens these feathers without having it gloop in the recesses too much and create a plasticky look, or have us lose any of the sculpted detail. We want to allow the Nuln Oil to dry entirely after this step so that we don't smudge it anywhere. The next color we're going to use is going to be Deathclaw Brown. I'm not applying any Lamian Medium to this paint because I'm going to be applying it as a dry brush. I just want to use a light controlled dry brush on all of the rows of feathers that we have painted so far. I'm going to be applying this as a highlight toward the very top of these feathers, the area where it starts to bend. I'm just doing a really soft dry brush. I'm doing a lot of little layers to slowly build up the color so that it's controlled and very smooth. The next color we're going to use is going to be Beastagore Flesh. This is also going to be a dry brushing layer. And again, I just want to concentrate this more towards the top, really kind of starting to build that highlight and build that brightness. Once we finish dry brushing with the Beastagore Flesh, we're going to mix in a little bit of Lamian Medium, and we want to apply it to all of these really long feathers, the primaries and secondaries at the bottom of the wing. This is going to be an all over layer. I want to get it into all the nooks and crannies. Um, there's lots of little sculpted texture in each of these feathers, and I want to make sure that it gets into all the recesses. And it's going to take me a couple layers to get a really nice coat of this golden color. Once we have a solid coat of that Beastagore Flesh, we want to apply a little bit of Agrax Earthshade to really bring out all of that sculpted detail in each of the feathers. So I'm just applying this to all the areas that we coated with the Beastagore Flesh. Again, it's very important to make sure that your shade dries entirely before we move on to the next step. The next color we're going to use is going to be Ushapti Bone. And I'm applying this as a heavy dry brush on top of all of these primary feathers at the end. I also want to put just a little bit on the top of the wing as a final highlight to that section. 
After we've finished our dry brush, we're going to apply a little bit of Lamian Medium to smooth out the Ushapti bone and make it a little bit more concentrated in a few areas. And I want to apply this color as a heavy outline to all of these feathers at the end of the wing, just like I did with the black in the other section of the wing. So I really want to go very heavily at the end of each of these feathers and then draw that line all the way down to where it transitions into the next section of the wing. Here's the mini after we finish painting the feathers with that Ushapti bone. Next we're going to highlight with Screaming Skull. This is also mixed with a little bit of Lamian Medium. This color is also going to be used to outline each of these feathers. However, we've switched to a finer detail brush and we're really going to do it a little bit more controlled and a little bit more of a fine line. Next, we're going to move on to Ceramic White. And we're gonna use this as an edge highlight on all of these feathers. We're not necessarily worried with making sure that we line the entire feather like we were with the earlier steps. This is really going to be concentrated on the end of each of these feathers. Also, as I painted this, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more texture to the end of these feathers. So I'm doing a few small strokes that kind of follow the lines that are sculpted into the feathers themselves. I'm not going to be highlighting every line I'm just making a few small stripes at the very end of the largest feathers. Here is the white step after it's been complete. The last thing we want to do is add a little bit of a highlight to the black feathers. And we're going to do that using the fang. And I'm going to apply this just with a very quick, very controlled dry brush. You can see I tilt my model so that I'm only catching the edges of the feathers and I don't need to go very heavily. And here are the wings entirely complete. It's a little bit different than a traditional Archangel wing, but I thought it was a very interesting choice for this particular model. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to go through painting the silver embellishments of her armor in the mini wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can sign up for a seven day free trial and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial and happy wargaming.